Ryan here from webeminence.com. I'm taking a look at another option to sell your products online, and I'm using the GoDaddy online store product. I must admit, based on my experience with GoDaddy products, I was a little bit skeptical in what I would find. I wasn't sure if I was going to recommend this GoDaddy online store, but I was pleasantly surprised at how simple it is to use. And although I wouldn't compare this to Shopify or other full-featured e-commerce platforms, it is easy enough to use and gives enough features that many people will find this a good option for opening up an online store. I was able to get a free trial of the GoDaddy online store platform. You can check my blog post for current pricing information, but at the time of this video, it was $29.99 per month after the one month free trial. And after you activate the service, it's gonna take you to a getting started guide like this one, which is pretty handy because it tells you the exact steps you need to go through to get your store online. And the first item to take care of is business information where you just type in your name, address, and some basic business information. So I'm gonna skip that and go right to products. And this is where you're gonna spend most of your time adding your products. And it has all the basic features like product name, price, you can have categories and a sale price. And then you can type a description and use their text editor here. They do give you some options to track inventory. You can create product variations like size and color. And another nice feature that I sometimes don't see in other e-commerce platforms is the ability to add a custom message. For example, if you do engraving or monogramming and people need to enter a custom message for their product, they give you that option to easily add it to a product right here. You can enter the weight for an item to calculate shipping. And then they allow you to set the search engine meta information, including title and description. So I went ahead and entered some sample information and I'm gonna click save because it says you have to save before you can add an image, which is sort of odd. So I added two images just as samples to see how it's gonna handle multiple images. So we'll check on that later when we view the website live. So that's all it takes to add products. I didn't see any option for importing lists of products like you might see in other e-commerce platforms. So you will need to add products manually one at a time. So back on the getting started page, the next item is payments. And if we click on that, you'll see they give you a credit card option and they use Stripe to accept credit card payments. So if you want to, you can activate that and that'll allow you to take credit cards on your site without people needing to use PayPal. And if you don't have a Stripe account, you will have to go through the process of activating one, which just requires you to fill out a short form. And if I remember correctly, the approval is almost immediate. And then you can add the PayPal Express option, which requires people to be redirected to paypal.com to check out and uh, finish their purchase. And it looks like you can have both of these activated so that people can choose to pay with a credit card or use PayPal if they choose. So if we go back to the getting started guide, the next option is shipping. And here you can set up the shipping options for your store depending on your needs. This option allows you to offer free shipping when the order reaches a total dollar amount. And the flat rate shipping allows you to offer a flat rate and that would be a fixed dollar amount or a fixed percentage of the order. And the weight based calculation allows you to set different shipping rates for different weight ranges. For example, zero to 10 pounds might be a dollar and then 11 to 20 pounds might be $2. And they also provide real-time shipping rates and it looks like they only allow that through the US post office currently. So if you select that option, you'd have to link it to your post office account and it will automatically calculate the rates for each order so that you're charging your customers exactly what you'll pay to ship it through the post office. And back on the getting started guide, the next option is tax, where you can set the tax rate for your orders. And you can add different tax rates for different geographical areas like states in the US, for example. And then the last option on the getting started guide is store design, which is pretty important because it's where you're gonna determine the overall look of your site. And the GoDaddy online store does not give very many options for website design themes, but the ones they do give are pretty good. So I'm using this one called Boundless right now. And if you wanna switch your theme, you can click Change Theme. 
And if you scroll down, you'll see they have about 14 different themes. And the design options they give are pretty nice. You can tell just by looking at them. They're not cheesy like a lot of old templates for online stores, but they do look modern. They have a lot of large images. And many of them are responsive, so they'll work well with mobile phones and tablets. So after you choose a theme, there's still a lot you can customize about the site. So I'm using this boundless theme and I can click customize here. And it will allow me to change the color scheme and choose from a few different schemes that uh, are already preset. And you can preview the color change on the right side there. And you can also add custom colors to different elements of the site. You can change the font for different elements of the site like the business name and logo and headings and menus and then the main font for the entire site. So those are just a few ways they allow you to customize the theme. And the different themes may allow for different customizations, but that's what this theme allows. So I'm going to save those changes and go back to the store design page and see what other options they give. Most of these options down here for theme settings are just things you type right into a text box and they show up on the page. For example, this header tagline is going to show up on the site right underneath the logo. You can change the main image, which is shown on the home page. You can change the label of the button, which is shown in this red circle here on this theme. And then there's a few content blocks with this theme you could change. And those are these three content blocks here. You can also change the content blocks in the footer of the site. Within the store design page, there are a few other things you could change. You can add a store logo rather than using the business name text. You can add Google Analytics and other code into the page for tracking purposes. And then you can add pages to your site. So there's some preset pages for this theme. And you can click on one of these and edit the page. It's a pretty basic text editor that they give you. You can basically type in the box, add pictures, add links. So it's just basic HTML. You can add additional pages and links. And normally I would think this is where you would change the order of the main menu, but I don't see anywhere to do that. So it may be that the order that's shown here is just the order that's going to show on the menu of your site and there's no way to change it. I haven't found any way to change that yet. So after you've gone through all the steps in this getting started guide, you can click go live. And it's going to make my site live on this preview domain that I'm using. So we should be able to go to it and you see here the main menu. And here's the one product that I added as a test. So if I click on that, here you see the two images that I added. Looks like I can zoom in on those images with this design theme. Here's the sale price I offered. And if I click add to cart, it adds to the cart and then I would click checkout. Looks like a pretty standard checkout. So I've entered some information so I'll click continue to go to the next step. And here it gives a summary and shipping options. And here's where it would give the two payment options. So right now I only have PayPal set up. So I assume if I had Stripe set up, people would be able to pay by a credit card and enter their information right here without being redirected to PayPal. But as it's set up now, I have PayPal selected and I don't see a checkout button, but I assume this is it here, checkout with PayPal. So I'm gonna click that and it looks like it's gonna load a PayPal checkout in a window. And it'll redirect to PayPal, but in this case, I don't have an actual account set up. So can't complete the checkout process with PayPal. But it does look like a pretty clean and simple checkout process for your visitors. And once your site is live, they give you a nice dashboard, which is a snapshot of your store for the last 30 days. So you can view orders and total sales. There's an orders page that allows you to sort through your different orders. And then you can obviously get back to all the different steps that we went through by going through this menu. There's products, categories, store design will take you back to the options for changing the look of your theme. And then under settings, you'll find the business info, payments, shipping, and tax. Overall, this GoDaddy online store platform is really easy to use. You can probably tell from this video that you'll be able to set up a store 
in probably less than an hour. Obviously, if you have a lot of products to add, that's going to take a lot of time. The GoDaddy online store doesn't give a lot of advanced e-commerce features that you might find in some higher level e-commerce platforms like Shopify or even Weebly e-commerce that's kind of a starter e-commerce platform. But the fact that it is kind of stripped down is going to make it a lot simpler for people to use, especially if you're a beginner to creating websites or you just need to sell a few products. Hopefully that helps you understand if the GoDaddy online store might be a good fit for your website. Make sure to check out the blog post associated with this video where I'll go into some other details on the GoDaddy online store and share some things that I didn't cover in the video. If you have any questions about it, feel free to comment on the YouTube video and I'll answer those as soon as I can. Make sure to subscribe because I'm sure I will be reviewing other e-commerce platforms in the future so you can compare it to the GoDaddy online store. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.